hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial in this video we are going to see how to add tabs dynamically to c sharp tab container control so the user will specify the tab name here then they will click on the add tabs button so what happens the tab will get added here as the name you type page 4 so there is already one page 4 but here you are typing page 4 again so a new tab will get added at runtime so once you click add tabs the tab will get added so in this example when we are adding the tab we will add the tab page with a control in it so we will add a text box at runtime we will add the text box to this uh, tab page after that we will add this uh, tab page to the tab control container so this is the code we are going to add so first if you see we are uh, implementing the button click event for a tab add at runtime we are creating a control if you see this is the control we are creating the control name is a txt i mean the instance name is txt we are creating this text box at runtime new text box then we decide its size 250 comma 30 that means width 250 and height 30 so that's the size we are specifying here after that we specify the location new point 20 comma 20 let's say this is our tab container control from this location i mean in the from top left 20 comma 20 that means this is the location and we are locating this point so the control will get added like this we already specified the size here so this will be our new tab sheet In, inside this new tab sheet we are specifying the uh, size and location of the control So this is to locate that location. Finally, we are adding some text to that text box added to page. That will get it displayed here, added to page. That's the text box content. So the control is ready. We haven't yet added it to the tab page. Here we just illustrated how our text box will look. Then we are checking txt tab name dot txt so that's the control name given for our uh, ui if you see this is the add add tab button after that there is a text box right this txt tab name specifies that so this is the name we gave for this control so when user doesn't specify any tab name that's why we are checking here then we are giving empty as the uh, name so if user doesn't type anything then at runtime we specify empty here in the text box then this is the important one if you see here we are creating a tab page new tab page and to the constructor we are giving a string and that string we are passing it from here when user types something we won't substitute empty but user left this text box as empty then we give the tab name as empty that's what get passed here when we are creating a new tab page finally if you see page dot controls dot add so this is the page we are creating right tab page page equal to new tab page then we are passing some string that string is coming from this text box then page 
each page tab page will maintain a control collection so here we are adding only one control and if you see this is the text that text we are adding it here to the tab page so once you add a control to the control collection that control will be shown when the tab page is displayed so page.controls.add txt so each page maintains a control collection and you can add n number of controls page.controls.add here i paused a text box you can create a checkbox a radio button whatever control you want to create at runtime you can create that so when you are creating at runtime you have to specify the size and location so here for our text box we already created it we have size and position we also set some property text property and we added that to the uh, tab page that we are creating dynamically at runtime so this piece of code if you see if we are doing this in design time we will be accessing the add page property then after that we are dragging and dropping a text box control to this tab page after that we are setting the text property so that's what here we are doing at runtime okay tab page is ready next this is our tab control right tab control one this is the name of our tab control dot tab pages so each page will maintain a control collection and tab control container will maintain tab page collection so for the tab pages we are adding our new page that's all so the new page will get added here so you have to study two uh, collection one is controls collection so this uh, controls collection is maintained by the tab page then the tab container control itself that will maintain a tab pages collection so this is nothing but collection of uh, tab page this one and this uh, tab page maintains so this is collection actually tab pages property property of tab control tab pages property maintains tab page and this tab page maintains collection of controls so here we just added a text box control so that's all the code now we will go to visual studio and start implementing our first piece of code so in the last video we talked about the properties of these uh, uh, form design now we will implement this button before that if you see txt tab name this is the name given for our text box control and this is the button control all right if you see here first we created our text box this was already explained in the powerpoint slide next we create a tab page instance this is the tab page instance we are creating after that for the page we are accessing the controls collection and then we are making call to the add method and to the add method we are passing the text box control which we created dynamically so till this point our tab page is ready we have to add the tab page dynamically to this uh, control previously we saw how to add the tab page at design time using the add tab or by using the tab pages uh, collection and if you see here we are going to use that same tab page collection only here we are using the same tab pages collection we already saw that here
so there are four tab pages now we are assessing that at runtime and we are making call to the add method and we are passing this page here that page we are passing here now let's run this and see how it works let's say first user is directly clicking the add tabs without giving any name and you can see a tab page called empty is added and there is a text box which contains a text add to page now we will provide one more tab so that get added so now our tab page contains three more pages and you can see abc efg xyz that means the three separate text control had at a run time so usually when you are adding the text boxes like this it is good to give a name for the text box also that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye